49ers news and rumors mailbag coming your way on the 49ers report as part of our live show. And for those not familiar, maybe you're tuning in for the first time, we are the largest 49ers news and rumors on channel on YouTube, quickly approaching 50,000 subscribers. So if you want your questions answered during these mailbags, you have to subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash 49ers TV. Be a part of the faithful family here at Chat Sports. And of course, rock with me, your host, Chase Senior. Start off this mailbag, this question coming in from Eddie. When we played the Colts, do you think we played bad or were the Colts the real deal? Bad conditions, rainy, and because of that, Jimmy Garoppolo was awful. That's the worst I've seen him look in a pretty long time. I mean, he was bad. He couldn't grip the football. That night, I remember during our postgame show, my biggest takeaway was this. There was such a big gap in physical quarterback attributes and ability between Carson Wentz and Jimmy Garoppolo, it wasn't even close. But from that point on, San Francisco has been able to turn their season around, mainly because Garoppolo has played well. So San Francisco in that game did not play good. They turned the football over, sloppy conditions, and the Colts just flat out beat them. Mad Max, should the 49ers build in the draft or free agency? Love the show. Thank you, my guy. Hopefully you are subscribed like 46,000 plus other people. Uh, you have to build through both avenues, the NFL draft and free agency. It's always a good blend of both. Um, you know, let's say you're running a business, right? And you're looking at external candidates to fill vacant spots. You're also looking for internal candidates to fill those spots and rise up in the ranks. These sports organizations, they are all businesses. So I'd like to see the Niners build both ways, both in the draft and free agency, and of course, be fiscally responsible. Can you Ligma? I don't know. Let me know. Can you Ligma? Is there an inside joke there? Ligma? Is that the inside joke? Did I get got? I don't know. What are the Nick, what are the Nick Bosa and Debo free agency rumors, my guy? So I'm not hearing a lot of free agency rumors yet on Nick Bosa and Debo Samuel. They are going into the final years of their rookie contract. So technically, San Francisco does not have to extend the action or the bag to either of those guys. They can go into the final year of those deals and decide to pay them after next year. But the salary cap is going up to $208 million. You're going to have more financial wiggle room to play around with and I think you just kind of border on disaster by not looking ahead at some of those marquee players to sign at the time. I think you got to get ahead because right now, with the NFL salary cap continuing to go up, you can get them at even better deals, even though you're going to max both of those guys out. So I think Nick Bosa, 14 sacks in 13 games, you're going to give him the bag. I think Debo Samuel, you're going to pay him a lot of money as well. Both of those guys at their respective positions, two of the best players in the game. Who do you think gets more bread, Kenya Ligma? Nick Bosa type NB, DS for Debo Samuel. You let me know in the comment section right now as producer Marshall continues to laugh in my ear. I guess I got got by some YouTube user out there. Bay Area for life. When will the 49ers realistically be able to go on a Super Bowl run? Maybe next year if we're healthy. Why not this year? Why not this year? Plenty of premier talent on this roster. You can compete with some high-end players, and I think you still have an elite coach in Kyle Shanahan, who a lot of other people will say are not elite, or isn't elite. I think he is. Um, with the way that the 49ers have really been playing over the last six to eight weeks, if they play their best ball and they don't cough the football up, is there a better trio offensively than Debo Samuel, George Kittle, and Brandon Ayuk? If Jimmy Garoppolo is at his best, that offense is humming. Trent Williams, one of the best offensive tackles in the game, probably the best actually, and the defense is good as well. So when the Niners playing at their peak, they can compete with anybody. Call me Ricky. Who are you riding with as the 49ers quarterback next year? For Denmark, call me Ricky knows. Where's IFR Drees? Shout out to you, my homie. Maybe he's not watching the, the show at like 4 a.m. like he was last week. It's all good. I'll cut you some slack. For Denmark. Um, 
I'd probably move forward with Trey Lance. I just think he can unlock a completely different element of this 49ers offense. And frankly, I want to see what Kyle Shanahan can do with a dual threat quarterback who can chuck it, let it rip, and run it as well. Now, I don't want him to run him into the ground like he did in his first start against the Arizona Cardinals or like he did with Robert Griffin III. Happy medium, please, Kyle. But man, Trey Lance has so much potential, and I wanted them to draft them at the time, and they did. And yes, Mac Jones might have been the safer pick. Trey Lance, unlimited potential, whereas Mac Jones, he has a clear ceiling. Big game coming up on Sunday. We're going to be doing a watch party for it right here on the 49ers Report. Make sure you subscribe and join us. Here are the betting odds for Sunday's matchup with a lot of NFC playoff implications. Over under set at 46, and then Niners profound favorites at minus 10. If you want to bet on this game, you can do so. Chatsports.com slash 49bet. And if you enter the promo code Niners125, you get a 125% deposit bonus. And if you put $100 into your account for first-time signups and lay a bet of any money and dollar significance, we'll send you a free 49ers jersey. Right now, all sizes and colors available for these Nike Rush uniforms for Jimmy Garoppolo and George Kittle. All you have to do, chatsports.com slash 49bet, enter the promo code Niners125, sign up, deposit at least $100, make a bet, then you email us, jersey at chatsports.com, letting us know that you followed all those steps. And if you do that, we'll send you a free 49ers jersey to ring in the holiday season to get some fresh 49ers swag in your closets. Now, if you forgot what I said or you need to simplify it, screenshot this right here. The Niner guy. What's good, guy? Who is your all-time favorite 49ers player? Has to be Jerry Rice. I don't even think it's close. I was growing up, popped in a VHS tape. I've relayed this story a couple of times here on the show, and I saw Jerry Rice going through these rigorous off-season workouts in which he was running mountains in this desert California sun. And I was like, man, this is why Jerry Rice is the GOAT. That's why he was able to play so long, deep into his 30s and 40s. I mean, I had a Jerry Rice Raiders jersey on top of a Jerry Rice Niners jersey back in the day. That's how, I'm, how much I loved Jerry Rice growing up. Gamer dude, what's Gucci? Hi, Chase the GOAT. What do you think will Debo Samuel's stats be against the Falcons? Depends on how he's feeling coming off that groin injury. He was somewhat limited last week. Didn't stop him from taking the ball to the crib on that carry in that game, which was a big touchdown for San Francisco. Let's say 50 receiving yards and 40 rushing yards with another touchdown because he's been the yak king and he's put forward one of the best offensive seasons we've seen from a weapon in recent NFL history. I want to quiz you here. Is the 49ers report the top spot for 49ers coverage on YouTube? Type B for best, type F for I'm a fraud, because if you don't think it's the best, you're a fraud. Let me know right now. Sasuke Uchaya. Who will the 49ers draft, and will the 49ers re-sign Raheem Mostert? I don't think that they're going to re-sign Raheem Mostert. Raheem Mostert really respect his path undrafted guy, had to cut his teeth, was a journeyman, was on a couple of practice squad rosters with the Eagles and some other teams. He lands with San Francisco and solidifies himself as the go-to back in the Super Bowl year. Had a couple of really nice highlights, plays, seasons with San Francisco, but you're moving forward with guys like Elijah Mitchell and Trey Sermon. You know, Raheem Mostert, he's in his late 20s. I think he's about to be 29 years old if he's not already. And I just think he's going to go elsewhere to extend his career. Thank you for the moments. It's time to move on, though. Venom, dare you to remove your shirt if we beat the Falcons and party it up against the Falcons because it was hella funny. Now, it has to be like a benchmark to reach in order for me to do something like that. Now, we have 46,600 subscribers on the channel, I think. That's, of course, going to change all throughout the week as people continue to hop on board with what we're doing here because nobody's doing what we're doing. Let's say on the channel on Sunday, we reach 50,000 subscribers. I would do something crazy like that. Now, it'd be hard to pick up 3,000 plus subscribers. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's very hard to do. But for me to go shirtless, Venom, I got to do some crazy things, and we got to get to some like really significant achievements. 50,000? 
man, that'd be one of them. Let me know who you got on Sunday. ATL for the Falcons, SF for the 49ers. Flood the comment section right now with your predictions for Sunday's game. A couple more questions to get to in the sack as you do that. Cami7, who should the Niners root for to make the playoffs? Root for to make the playoffs. Let me give you this. Who should we root for to go up against in the first round? The Dallas Cowboys. Can't you just feel the Cowboys cracking under pressure right now? It's emanating from the great city of Dallas, and that's where we're coming to you from our chat sports studios. The Cardinals, I think the Niners can beat them in a first-round playoff matchup. I think they can hang with the Packers, although I think Green Bay is the best team in the league. Tom Brady in the playoffs, really tough to beat, but crazier things can happen. I'm rooting for a San Francisco Cowboys matchup in the first round. Now, who should we root on to make the playoffs? It really doesn't matter. Root on the 49ers, and that's the only squad that you should worry about. Carjack 76. Hopefully you're not carjacking cars. Biggest need in the NFL draft. I might have done that back in the day. I don't know. You let me know. Biggest need in the NFL draft. I was a rebel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> biggest need in the NFL draft. Cornerback, offensive line, especially the right side of that offensive line. Like you got to figure out right guard and right tackle. But the secondary is really the big area. You don't need linebackers. Resign Aziz Alshire. You have Fred Warner, like Drake Greenlaw. You're pretty set at defensive line. Maybe another edge rusher in the second round now that I think about it. Offensively, maybe a big bodied wide receiver. You can get some really good ones in that second round. What makes things tricky for San Francisco, they don't have a first round pick. So something to monitor moving forward. Travis Jackson, what up? Should San Francisco go after Aaron Rodgers? I think Aaron Rodgers is going to go back to Green Bay. I think they've been able to work out their differences. And I don't think that a trade for Aaron Rodgers is all that realistic. And I think he's content with Green Bay. And I think the Packers are content with him. Aaron Rodgers, with the rule changes, with his ownership of Matt LaFleur's offense, with him being in that system, and just the surrounding pieces is playing the best football of his career. I think it would be asinine for him to move on from the Green Bay Packers. Could he go to a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers? Maybe. Another team that's ready to win right now? Yes, but I don't think it's going to be San Francisco. I think their chips are in for either Jimmy Garoppolo or Trey Lance. A reminder... For everybody watching right now, Falcons, Niners, watch party coming your way right here on the channel. 3.50 p.m. Eastern, 12.50 p.m. Pacific. Our watch parties have really been awesome over the last several weeks. 50,000 people joining us the last three. Let's beat that number this week. Subscribe and join us. Live play-by-play, -play, live stats analysis. I take your questions. We drink some beers. We have fun, and we just hang out.